everybody, and um, today we are going to actually read from the Necronomicon Ex Mortis. No, there's no Ex Mortis on there. So today, on our um, Trail of Cthulhu, um, we are going to the festival by H.P. Lovecraft, and here... Um, this is the first time where we sit with someone while they're reading the dreaded tome. Real quick, if you haven't read The Festival um, by H.P. Lovecraft, you could run over to weirdmass.com and um, I'll have a link down below. Um, and the festival uh, was posted up there today so um, you can give it a read well let's just get to it so basically there's this dude and um, his dad's like look like you need to go to Kingsport and take part in this holiday festival um, that our family has been a part of since creation or something and um like any dutiful son he's like yeah okay dad we'll do that um but the dad's not going it's just him so he goes the house that he's supposed to go to and the king's port is all old and quiet and um just a very um wonderful New England old town and um, he knocks on the door doesn't hear anybody coming but the door opens and he's like oh there's slippers on his feet and it's this old dude with this um, kind of nasty face um, that's just kind of bland and he's a mute and um, he has to write on this wax pad um, so he lets the dude in and takes him into this room and there's all these old books and um, he pulls the Necronomicon down and starts reading it and loses time um, as you do and then it's time to go to this festival and um the duties with it's got this robe thing on and um this story gets so crazy okay so he's like walking with all these dudes and it's like really quiet and it's very obvious at this point it's been obvious since he got to town that um, this is a scary ass thing and he should not be involved in it. And um, it's pretty obvious that everybody's kind of floating or um, slithering. Like it, it's. Um, There's more questions, and I don't know if these questions are the kind of questions that you want to stick around to kind of see what the answers are, or if these are questions that pop up that tell you to get the hell out of there as quick as you can. But they're going up to this church. And he's checking the church out, and everyone's going inside. And this part was so funny for me. Um, they all go inside, and then he goes in, and he can't see, he can't find anybody. He's like, hey, 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 hey. and um, then he's like, oh, trap door, got it. So all these people went down into the earth through this trap door. And so he goes down, 
and there's these fucking caverns and stuff, and like, um, fire shooting up, and like a tower, and all this stuff, and then these weird creatures that are indescribable, um, Lovecraft, and, and see, the thing about spoiling a Lovecraft story is I could sit here and tell you five ways from Sunday everything that happens in this story, but because of how Lovecraft uses language, you could read this and it would be like brand new to you. So anyway, um, these ridiculous, indescribable creatures come out that are kind of like, I would say, they remind, they don't look like horses, but the way they act remind me of horses. And all these people are like jumping on the backs of these things and flying off through these caverns and stuff and there's like stanky black oily water like a river running through and again we have like green flames and all sorts of stuff well anyway um grandpa wax pad is trying to get our hero to jump on the back of one of these um, ridiculous looking creatures and he's like yeah no this is where I'm going to draw the line here and um, he, the old dude's like trying to like pull this thing um, over to him because it's getting all restless now that all the other um, creatures are flying away and in the scuffle butt um, it knocks the pallid mask off of the old dude. And, um, the horror that is behind this is enough to send our hero into complete Bonkerville. And he dives into this horrid black goo and, um, like a lot of Lovecraft stories, wakes up in a hospital. And he's trying to explain everything that's going on, and everyone's like, what the hell are you talking about? And he looks out the window, and Kingsport is a completely different looking town. It's not all old colonial, it's like more, um, built up. And because he's, like, losing his shit, they move him to Arkham. And when he's there, he's talking, and he um, asks them to get a copy of the Necronomicon, which they have at the Miskatonic University. And um, he, like, opens it up, and he's like, Yeah, see, right here, this is what I read. And that bit, um, I think that could have been done differently to make it work for the people who think this dude's nuts. Um, like if they were going through it and they're like, what do you think's on this page? And then he like tells them, and they're like, huh? Okay. Um, tell me something else. Okay. Um, but then it's like, well, he could have read the Necronomicon before. That doesn't change any of the psychosis that he's had about the people he saw and the creatures he saw and the places he went to. Um, so anyway, so this story is just crazy. It um, starts off kind of, not slow, but like, for me, Lovecraft stories never start off with a bang. Um, it's like a slow burn 
and then it's like batshit crazy and a bunch of crazy stuff happens and then it's like another little lull before the italicized last line or whatever but um so that's the festival okay like did it happen um did he even go to king's port well he did because he was in the hospital so when he got there was he like in like a like a time loop or time rift was it another dimension was it um it could be anything like did all of this happen and now he's like kind of in the future like what is happening here with this and if you have any idea um leave it down in the description below or not in the description you guys can't leave anything in the description leave it in the comments what's wrong with you um but now we're moving into like big daddy stuff okay so next week we're going to be going over the first chapter of um probably the thing lovecraft is most known for the call of cthulhu um and i was just going to do this in one sitting but i feel like this is one of those things that should be broken up and talked about more um the way i've been doing these videos so far um is very just like matter of fact here's me shooting the shit with you and i want to keep that feel but i want to have more um more discussion i think um more detailed look and we're going to be doing that with the Conan chronology videos too. So, um, next week, um, on the Conan videos, we're going to be doing Rogues in the House, the first chapter of that. Um, and when I was going through Rogues of the House, Rogues in the House, um, I think I might even take the last chapter and break that up into either two or three parts on its own, um, because it's so much longer than the rest of the book or the rest of the story. So, um, yeah, I don't know why I'm telling you all of this stuff. I'm just thinking out loud now. Well, anyway, um, let me know down below what your thoughts of the festival are. Um, what you think, um, these people were, what you think these creatures were, um, flaws in the story, um, the your first impressions of the world's first impression of the necronomicon um so uh yeah i will be talking to you soon